I just, you know, I'm waiting to, to feel good, make, make sure that I'm in the right spot to go out there and play the game the way I know I can. And that all that is right now is taking it one day at a time. What's the ramp up kind of look like for you from a practice standpoint? Yeah, it's weird. It's like you don't want to, like, throw at the same level um, as you would in a normal practice just because, like, you don't want to deal with the soreness throughout the week. And then, you know, then at the end of the week, turn out you're not playing and then you just kind of lost that recovery. Uh, so just being... Uh, tedious with the amount of throws that I'm taking uh, and just the amount of stress I'm putting on my arm. When you get to sit, to sit and, 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 and watch eat. the practices and watch the games and kind of see it unfold from that perspective, can that help you with the, the processing and all when you do get back out there? Uh, 100%. No, we got to take those mental reps and, and treat them like game reps. And I've made sure that every rep that I'm not getting, I'm still getting. And uh, uh, Trevor's been great. He's been a great help. He knows a lot about football, so having him back there with us talking through the plays, he's been a great help. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to be as involved as I can with the different position groups and quarterbacks especially, but taking those mental reps as seriously as possible. Do you feel like you have made two strides from a health standpoint over the last yes. week or so? Yeah, for sure. How can you tell? Just, just the pain's gone away or just arm strength's the best? Pain and range of motion, I'd say. I just felt really restricted um, you know, with what I was able to the arm slots and how I was able to get my arm up um, and just feeling it out earlier this week and today, like uh, getting a lot better in those areas. No, you want to play. No, you want to play. How tough is it to have to kind of take a step back and get healthy? Yeah, it's tough. It's, um, I don't think any teammate that's ever played with me knows that I'm the type of guy to push through and try to play through everything. But at the end of the day, you also got to be smart and take care of you know, essentially what is my career and um, just make sure I'm good next time I'm going to go out there to play. How disappointed are you? How disappointed were you with Hop being traded? Because I know that was your guy, especially last year. You guys quickly got on the same page. Yeah, you know, try not to let emotions and, uh, you know, relationships get in the way of business decisions. We know that this is a league where there's things that happen that are out of our control and, you know, we have the trust in our, our uh, staff to make those right decisions and, you know, they're hard decisions, and we're glad that we don't have to make them. But sometimes, uh, you know, things might not feel right. But uh, I wouldn't call it for this situation something that I'm, you know, feeling like crazy about. And I just know that at the end of the day, I got to focus on myself and uh, not let anything that happens on that side of the ball or at that side of things uh, affect how I go out there and play. Do you feel like things with the shoulder got worse after the indie game, or was the indie game sort of a awakening that you needed more time than maybe you thought you weren't as capable of doing as much as you hoped? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, knew, I knew that the week of practice after the indie game, I wasn't feeling as hot as I was the week before. So I don't know if it was like something happened in the game or just like after playing in a game and putting the stress underneath it, like it just happened. But um, uh, yeah, I was I was pushing to play. I, I thought I you know, had the capability to go out there uh, and play at a level that could help us win. and. You know, at that point in the season, we, you know, that was a huge game for us in terms of I thought if we could win that one and that could get us back rolling, like um, we could get something going. So it was a, it was a tough situation, and um, yeah, no, I don't I don't uh, regret playing in the game. That's for sure. Was the issue that it hurt, or was it slowing you down, or was kind of how do you describe what it was that was limiting you? Uh, just my ability, I'd say. Um, I can manage the pain with, you know, what we have to our. Uh, or what our training staff has, but um, it was more so just my inability to make the throws that I know I can. Have you gotten advice from anybody about how to limit movement in your shoulder? <laughs> um, no, it's been tough because like it's walking around like you're dealing with the uncomfort or discomfort, and you don't want to like mess with it. But like all I want to do is just like move it and like feel it out, and so I'm just trying to you know let it be and let it run its course. All right, have you been able to throw much? A little bit. Like I said, I'm you know, I'm monitoring it closely. I don't wanna lose the recovery that I have right now, so um limited with my reps, but I'm I'm doing a good job of monitoring it and feeling out the pain and the range of motion. Have they told you that this is something you will be able to get past and once you once it's fully rested for for this season or is this gonna be a week to week thing of how it feels? Uh yeah, no, I I, I don't know. I, I, Todd was saying that you no, know, I don't think he's had a quarterback that's had it in their throwing shoulder. So it's like uh, I haven't been able to talk to a quarterback that's had it in their throwing shoulder. So I, I really don't know how it's going to be. I know that you know I, c I can play at this level though, so I'm not really going to stress about it. How's, uh, how's your week of prep been going, and how ready do you feel? Yeah, it's been a great week. Um, it's just nice to get back in the flow of 
get to walk through reps in the morning, practice in the afternoon, and you know, meetings in the after, you know meetings in the night, and uh, yeah, just uh, you know I've had to go into games before and felt like you it's a good it's a good adrenaline spike, you know, but getting the reps during the week is is uh, ideal. So. What, what is you look at this defense, you look at the defense, obviously Hutchinson is out for the season. Yeah. Are they blitzing more? What are they doing differently now that he's <sighs> Definitely pressuring. You know, they, they got some hard-nosed linebackers, um, physical guys, free safeties off the edge, etc. cetera. Um, but, you know, they're a good group, physical group. Uh, we know it's going to be a fight. And uh, I think, you know, guys have, 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 have worked hard all week and they're up for the challenge. How much different is it for you at the start of the week when I, I know Brian's indicated you're more than likely going to be the guy next week. Last week there was some more question there. What's it like when you kind of know this is your your deal this week? Yeah, it's 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 good. I think as a, as a backup quarterback, you're always trying to visualize, you know, whether it you know simulating your mind, you know, going in first quarter, fourth quarter, um, you know, but uh, or starting later in the week. But when you know you you know when you know uh, early on, it's much better, and you can and you can really. Yeah, you can really you know get all the reps and, and like I said through the week, you know, routes on air, start working with the receivers, working on the nuances. So it's uh, it's always fun. What did you like about how things went Sunday, and what are some things got to be better uh, this Sunday? Yeah, I mean, you know, we lost, and that was you know there's not there's never a whole lot to like when you lose, but you know I think the, I think we moved we moved the ball well in the first half. We played you know complimentary football, uh, you know put our defense in good positions, and then and then you know uh, we got to work, work on finishing. <clears throat> putting our defense in a, in a better situation, you know, we put them on a short field once, and, and uh, you know, give you know, inspire them by, by scoring the ball and moving the ball and keeping them on the sidelines. Callahan mentioned you've gotten a lot of reps with some of the guys that might be stepping up, especially with D Hop out of the mix, like yeah. NWI. Yeah. You know, how does that benefit you? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I think um, yeah, training camp, um, Nick and and, and and a handful of guys that might be up this week. Um, got plenty of. You know, reps logged and feel comfortable with those guys. When it comes to the tight ends, too, uh, use of them a lot in, in that game. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like comfortability with them and utilization? Yeah, they were great. They were they were solid. I don't I don't, I don't know that they, they had a drop. They were they were they were pretty darn uh, sure. And um, they're great guys. They blocked their butts off, and it's it's nice to be able to reward them and you know get them some shine out on the outside. Mason, what do you feel like needs to happen to kind of get some momentum and get things turned over for you guys? Yeah. Uh, I think I think details and habits. It's, it was uh, it's kind of been our mantra from the head man this week about you know making sure we're treating the walkthroughs like a game and treating the meetings you know uh, don't leave any stone un, you know, unturned and uh, and then executing and finishing games in the fourth quarter and you know it's I mean it's all easier said than done we got to go prove it and, and freaking do it um, but I think uh, you know we got we got a good plan and and uh, we're fired up. Obviously, it's been an been a, a interesting week here. You've had a couple of teammates that have moved on. on. Is anything said in the locker room, or do you guys just know, hey, we, you know, we're the only ones that can kind of save this season if I oh, yeah. step up and do more? Absolutely. I mean, I, I think uh, I think when you're on <clears> – <throat> I've been on good teams where you're you know, 10 and 0 and you're trading people. So that, that comes with the territory of, you know, the, of the business element of the NFL. And, uh, I think most of the guys, you know, outside of the rookies, probably it's the first time they've seen somebody – vacate a locker and there's somebody there within 12 hours so but most of us are we're used to it and uh you know it's it's uh, we can only control we can control is it strange for you being one of the short contract guys seeing some of the other one-year deal guys traded and wondering what could be next uh you know i think it's i think there's times where we all wonder but you know i always said you know let tomorrow take care of itself there's enough there's enough stress for today to uh enjoy today and and um you know, uh, have faith that it'll all fall into place, or it won't. But all you can focus on is today. <laughs> so. Sorry, late to the party here, but what what, what have kind of last 24 hours been for you? Uh, just packing up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much just packing up, traveling, uh, just getting adjusted to the time difference. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's still the same. Come into work, uh, have meetings, have practice. And, um, just continue to get better. How do you decide what to bring with? Well, you got a Seahawks uh, helmet in, even in the mix there. Yeah, so I uh, pretty much just packed all my uh, <laughs> my whole um, locker in Seattle and uh, just came out here. Yeah. What do, you, what do you know about this team? Do you know any guys on the team? Uh, a few guys. I know they just signed uh, Isaiah. We play together. I know Nick. Um, you know, I know Bush. We, he's my coach. Um, so yeah, I know a few guys, but uh, Sorry, okay. it's gonna be good. Already, um, 
I know you were here during free agency and visited, uh, and I think they were kind of surprised you left. What, how, how'd that visit go? How come you didn't sign here then, and, and what do you feel about being here now? Yeah, uh, the visit went well. Uh, I thought it went well. Um, it, it was really just a negotiation, just the contract stuff didn't work out. Um, so I just ended up going to Seattle. But uh, it's funny how life works, so it all come full circle. And I'm happy I'm here and uh, just help this team win. What did they tell you about your opportunity here? Uh, we really haven't uh, had too much time to even talk <laughs> about that. Uh, it's more just coming in, just getting adjusted to everything. Um, just getting everything situated and um, just going from there. You played a you played in the league a, a long time. I mean, what, what do you feel like you bring to a to a team coming in? Um, yeah, I feel like I bring a lot of things. Um, leadership, um, just that effort that that guy just goes to work every day and just do what he's supposed to do. Um, so that, that's my mindset is coming here and um, just be me, be myself, and um, just do my part to help us win. What are your expectations about playing time this week? I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm still just trying to get adjusted. Uh, I kind of came here 12 o'clock. I didn't go to bed until like 3 o'clock in the morning. Had had to be up, be here at 6.30. So uh, I'm still getting adjusted. But, you know, if it's time to play Sunday, um, I'm sure I'll be ready. Obviously for NWI, uh, he's made the most of little opportunity. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think he can do with it then? I think he can increase his role. Um, his production speaks for itself. Uh, what you don't see, what, what does not show up on the stat sheet, is how well he does in the run game. Uh, he's one of our best blockers on the team, and um, so he'll have those plays plus some um, uptick in some other plays as well, especially in the passing game. How valuable is a guy like that? That you know is a team first guy and can do so many different things for you. It's very, very valuable. Very valuable. He, he doesn't he doesn't say anything in his, in, a, in a meeting room. He goes out. He works hard. Does his job every day. And that's his production shows when he gets a chance on Sundays. What have you seen from some of the guys on the practice squad, and how could they factor into maybe some decisions moving forward? You know, I've been seeing growth in all those guys on the practice squad every week. Um, just opportunities that hadn't been presented to them. I think this week, the opportunities could possibly present itself for those guys, and we can see them step up and make some plays for us this week.